What's going on everybody? Happy Monday. We're starting the week off with a little bit different type of video. This week, I know for a fact that there's three tops releases this week. Only because I got them on allocation coming in. With that being said, I'm not going to load these in the store. I'm going to bring what I have for product onto the uh, auction slash fixed pricing uh, piece this weekend when we go live. So, I want to cover the product itself because I know a lot of people have questions on to it and that. And I will put checklist from Cardboard Connection in the description. So, pretty pretty cool week coming up. Pretty cool week. Alright, let's stop, start off. Topps Museum Baseball this week. Now, I'm just using Blowout for pricing onto this. This is not going to be what I'm going to push it out at unless something crazy happens between now and when I order it. This comes out on Wednesday. Museum Baseball. 380 a box. I want to say this is up. I want to say it was 325 last year or 319 when it came out. I, I might be wrong. But definitely a big bump over the past two years on Museum. So each box, you're going to have the four quad boxes inside. You're going to get an autograph relic card, one on card autograph, one quad relic, one relic. There are case hits. You got the jumbo relic and then you got the framed autograph. The last two years straight, we've actually had the booklets into it. Two years ago, I just remember Otani was on. I believe it was Rod Carew, possibly. I know it was a dual autographs uh, booklet we had. Then last year it was Buster Posey and someone else in the booklet. North Coast will know because he's the one that ended up uh, hitting the card on the random at the end. But, yeah, I, I mean, can we go three for three this year? Who knows? We'll see. But, but I like Museum to the extent that there's some stuff you could hit into it, but you have to be very gentle in opening these packs. They are a thicker pack, and you're going to have a lot of edge and corner issues onto it. So let's take a look at the product here. They're saying high box is best price three and a quarter right now out there. I, I don't know how accurate that is. I haven't really checked. But from what I'm seeing, people have just been raising prices. Of course, you got your base cards. And you're going to have your parallels right here. This is what I like. I like the canvas collection. For one, they grade very well. Canvas cards for surfaces. I've never really had any kind of issues with surfaces over the years. The big thing is the autograph, if you can get one autoed. Those are pretty cool. I don't believe in all the years of the museum I have opened up anything for anybody or myself and pulled an autograph canvas. Of course, we're back with what I call the silver and the gold and the copper graphs. I don't know how many different ones are going to be this year. But I've always liked it because the autographs stand out, especially with the silver on the black down here. And it's just always been cool through the years on to it. You got the frame autographs. Of course, they're going to put Jeter out there. And this is the wood frame. The wood frames are going to be your one-on-ones. And right here, wood frame. So, see what happens. You know, there's one per case. Maybe this year we pull that instead. You no, know what? Last year, I think actually we pulled both case hits. I think we pulled the frame card and the booklet. And we only had two boxes. I remember doing a mixer. I'll have to go back and look at the video. But I believe we pulled both case hits out of two boxes. I mean, it was in that break. Correct me if I'm wrong. I believe we did. It was kind of crazy. It looked like something like this here, but it was dual autographs. I really like their booklets here onto it because you got the stadium look and all that onto it. Very hard grades if you pull something like this. And, wow, I mean, I, I've just always been a fan of it. Of course, you got their superstar show pieces on to it. Pretty big checklist when it comes out. Oh, there's the Griffey. You gotta show Griffey. Always gotta have Griffey on there. I'm trying to figure out where the autograph bat. Oh, I guess it's he's autographed on the bat. I don't know. But there's your uh, quad relics. I believe it goes from single, dual, and triple. But pretty big checklist overall when you hit, well, only 100 for base cards, but 
when you start getting down to autographs, there is a lot. So you got to imagine, I used to do a lot of this stuff with breaks. I mean, there's some brutal breaks out there. There's some that are uh, just insane. You'll have four or five huge hits in a case. But pretty cool. The checklist is out if you guys want to start looking at and stuff like that. Not bad, not bad. It, it's always been one of the products I liked over the years, just not because it's hobby only, but just due to the fact the overall look. It doesn't get enough love in the hobby. But there's definitely a lot of potential with it. All right, the next release comes out same day. Two tops baseball, same day. I do have a couple of these boxes. Again, these will be out on Saturday. Tops Archive Signature Series Retired Player Edition. They're up to $79 a box. So I was curious. Went on to Cardboard Connection. Checklist was out. 93 total players on to it, they're saying. And I was surprised by some of the names. But I am out every year because there's sometimes there's somebody on there. I'm like, wow, I haven't seen this guy sign for a while. Of course, you're going to have your Ripkins, Fisk. Um, Cecil Fielder, I don't think I've seen an autograph of him for a while. That was kind of one of the names there. I know somebody pulled Dante Bichette last year. I think it was a redemption or something. David Cohn. Uh, of course, you got your Derek Jeter will be in there. Frank Thomas. Hank Aaron. I'm really curious if he actually got to sign these before his passing or if Topps, uh, what I overheard, Every year, Tops, when he was signing stuff, they'd get him to sign some stickers. So, I'm going to take it as Hank Aaron's going to be very, very limited. It's probably going to be a sticker. But, still pretty cool you get a Hank Aaron autograph. I highly doubt it's going to be a cut. But, uh, let's see. What else did I see on here? There's a couple other names. Got Griffey. Oop, right there. Well, kind of there. I can't get my mouse to click right. Mariano Rivera. Mark Grace. Another one I haven't really seen much of over time. Nolan Ryan, Ozzy Smith, Reggie, Ricky. I mean, there's some good names on to it overall. Sean Green. If I was that by my own box, this is probably who I would pull out of it all. No joke. Between him and Helton. I was sitting there thinking about that. I'm like, I know if I got my own box and open it, it's probably going to be one of those two, just with my luck. But not too bad. I mean, I won't have them at $79 a box, so I don't know where I'm at on pricing until really Saturday pops around. Now, this here I will not have in hand until Friday because Museum was already in when I put my order in Friday night, and I'm not going to put my next one until Tuesday, which will ship out Wednesday, be here Friday. But you only get one card, everybody knows per pack, one buyback auto. So, you can hit something really nice. I mean, especially, I don't know if $80 is a good way to go with it, but I remember these when they used to come out at like 50 bucks a box. All right, last product comes out Friday. Some people are fans of it, Gypsy Queen. It was one of the products that I was not a fan of because of being a breaker and doing all the sorting and shipping. 300 card base set. 207. 207 is coming out at. Two autographs, then you get your box topper per box. Um, the only one I will rip live for anybody is going to be the probably, uh, this is probably the only one. I will not rip Gypsy Queen live for it because that will just take a while and I'd rather just ship it. But um, 207 is what they're asking there for. I should be able to beat that by ooh... I, I don't even want to guess, but I'll definitely be under that. Well, and then here's a checklist. Pretty cool stuff. A lot of people like Gypsy Queen. Some people aren't fans of it. Then you also have people that like uh, Alan and Ginter. Then there's people that aren't fans. You, of course, you're going to have your ton of variations. And that's why I don't really want to open it. Because I, I, it's so hard sometimes I'll miss the 42s on the jerseys and stuff. Now you got Roberto Clemente Day variations and stuff out there. Um, you have the logo swaps, I remember. Something to do with the names, too. There's your box toppers. And that's the other reason, because I don't know how many cases I have for toppers left to open them up live. That's why I'd rather just ship the whole box. 
Uh, big checklist as you go down through here. As always with Gypsy Queen. I'm trying to see where... Oh, those are just image variations. Okay. Big checklist here for autographs. So I'm trying to see if I can get on one screen. But pretty much starting from up here at Soto, you got to think, well, up here, down. But that's a lot. Oh, 83 different autographs. 83. So you're getting two per box. And you're probably getting it, you know, when it ease here onto it. I mean, we've done well in the past on some stuff, opening or getting into breaks with people and stuff, but it's definitely one of the harder hit products. This is what I really like, the Captain Mini Autographs. So when I was thinking Captains, I was thinking of what they did, uh, was it last year or the year before, where it was like some all-time Captains where you had Jeter and stuff into it, and I was sitting there hunting for Jeter's name, I'm like, oh wait, this is all current. But you got Trout into it, Soto, um, people like Harper, Judge... Akuna, probably won't see him for about 9 to 12 months. Jordan into it, probably be some people. Some people might like Walker Bueller, Reese Hoskins, Makata. But just look it over. I mean, there, there are some nice autographs into this. Autograph garment set. Lineup set. Hatch book. We only ever pulled one of these the whole time. Patch booklets. I think that was two or three years ago. Really nice if you can get a hold of one. And of course you got all the tarot cards and stuff into it. The box toppers going down. But I want to do a quick video today. Or at least get a video out today. I bought my camera. But uh, on to some of the product getting released this week. I will have very, very limited boxes onto it. I believe it's two Gypsy Queen, three on the Archive Signature Series, and I may only have one box of uh, Museum offhand. I may be able to get a second one. I'm just waiting on that to find out onto it. But, but like I said, I'll have it all Saturday. I will get that schedule pushed out probably Thursday evening in a video of everybody that's going to be on for selling. Right now it's just me and Joey. I know a couple people I reached out to have shows next weekend, so I had to count them off of it and everything. But we'll get there once, uh, you know, the summer and spring with vacation or summer uh, vacations get out of the way because there are a couple people on vacations. I think fall and winter is where we'll probably be hitting more of the auction fix pricing probably starting early afternoon dipping in the evening with about five or six sellers doing it so it'll be something different kind of like a internet um card show in a way i guess plus they'll give everybody a chance for some uh different sellers and stuff if you do have a youtube channel or you bought from me or Joey before or something to where I can at least verify you ship quick and there's no issues. Hit me up if you want to do it on Saturday. I'm trying to get the, the names and everything put together for a timeline on to it. And it'll be like I said, everybody, you'll have to have a Zoom account. Those are free. You'll log into Zoom, set up your camera, and then you just got to monitor uh, the YouTube chat type deal. And you can, if you're not familiar with doing auctions, you just want to do fixed pricing, you can do that the whole time. But that is about it, everybody. I just wanted to cover some of the new releases this week. Uh, tops, three of them this week. Three. And I know next week we're looking at Upper Deck Space Jam. Um, Clearly Authentic was another one off the top of my head. I know it was out. I believe there's a basketball, and it's either Clearly Don Russ or... I, th I believe it's Clearly Don Russ. And there was something else that was coming out, too. I know I have racing this week as well. It's coming in, but th that's already for somebody else. Uh, just a lot of products about to get pushed at us starting now because of the nat coming up onto the National, National Release Week. Topps Chrome actually is now coming out the week after the National, which it's never done before. It's always been the week of the National for years. But, all right, enough of my jibber-jabber today, everybody. Appreciate it. Hope to see you guys on Saturday for a while. If you can't make it um, and you see stuff that you want on to it, it's not me. 
just hit me up, and then I'll try to link you up with a person that's doing the selling, too. All right, take care of a good one. Talk to y'all later.